elders it does not matter the rule is the same he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him in one minute I like you to say father I am here now visit me visit me give me a testimony give me a testimony by the spirit of the living God Are you praying? God will surprise you. That you can be sure. You go ahead and pray. The answers for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. I want you to listen carefully. If you came here with any kind of neck pain, any kind of neck pain, whether there's a bracelet on your neck or some medical, you cannot move your neck, any kind of neck pain, whether you are inside, you are outside, I want you to lay your hands there right now. The power of God is healing people. You are not able to move or you're not able to move well your neck lay your hands there right now lay your hands there right now father in the name of Jesus Christ necks every neck pain by the power that raised Christ from the dead Halis camera supriya hafasida malasubas I decree and declare let the healing power of Jesus rest upon that neck now rest upon that neck now rest upon that neck now the power of God is coming on a lady right now I'm seeing a divine surgical procedure that is happening in your stomach this is something that looks like a swelling around the left side of your stomach but the power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Touching you by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone you cannot chew with the left side of your tooth. It looks like um, something is shocking you. Your molars. It's like you feel a lot of painful sensation. Right now as I'm speaking to you, the power of God is resting upon you. Now, I'm going to give you some instructions shortly, but I just want you to follow. Something is happening. Right now, please take it higher for me. You're not going to shout. Just allow me to do the speaking. And I want you to bring all those under the anointing now when I make that declaration. You don't shout. Usually I'll ask you to shout, but the Lord is telling me something differently. And I want to please ushers will be very, very fast. I'm seeing a door in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing there are chains tied to that door and tied to people. This is what the Lord is showing me. And the Lord is saying these people need to be set free now. Some of them are whole families. Some of them are individuals who have been asking, what is the cause of this issue in our life? Right now, I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone who is tied by any demonic chain of witchcraft, I told your people, 
that the price has been fully paid and I announce again to the realm of the spirit that every price for your liberty has been paid therefore in the name of Jesus be released now be released now bring them out Yahweh Sabaoth Yahweh Sabaoth Yahweh Sabaoth Yahweh Ta-da-da-da-da-da Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da Ta-da-da-da At the count of three, I'm seeing fire falling now. And as soon as that happens, please bring them out quickly. There are chains that are going to be breaking right now. Age long chains. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice who has been bound by witchcraft of any kind, at the count of three, let those chains be broken now. One, two, three, break now. Break now. Break now. Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Sakate pakato katsegeta. I command those chains to be broken. No matter how long they have tied you, tied your family, tied your destiny, in the name of Jesus, be broken right now. Chains of poverty, chains of sickness, afflictions of any and all kinds be broken now bring them out mysterious chains afflictions in the dream all kinds of things eating demonic things going to satanic places I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit remove names from covens in the name of Jesus. This one I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus. Any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven right now as you shout that name let fire burn everything right now. One Two, three, shout Jesus. Let it be burnt now. Let it be burnt now. Every ordinance, every ill speaking, every ordinance, be broken, be broken, blotting out every handwriting, be broken in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing close to you, please bring them. There's a reason I ask you to bring them. The ushers are limited, my apologies, but please help them. Chains, chains, chains. Chains, chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I'm hearing Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. What is it that has to do with ancestry? That is tying down people from that region. Right now, you are from that state. Anything that has hapakatoskiata that has tied you down, be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing Kogi State. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to families. If at all they marry, the women must return back to their parents' homes. I'm praying for you. I don't know what curse and what yoke is upon such families. But right now in the name of Jesus, by the authority that is in the finished work of Christ, let that curse be broken now. Yeah. 
Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing in my spirit shame and reproach. Hear me. I preached a message here last year called Ichabod. There are many of you as you are standing now. There is no dignity and no honor in your life. Everything that represents honor for you and your family has been taken away by darkness. Can I pray for you? That veil, I, I tell you, I see the power of God resting on people right now. Every veil sitting on your head, covering your glory, bringing shame and reproach. I tear that veil now. 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 I'm hearing a name Jennifer. Jennifer. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. Let me tell you, if God locates you, that's the end of it. Mm. Jennifer. I want to pray for you. There is one of you, I'm seeing that people don't rise. There's a spirit, I'm seeing like, like stones. This is what I'm seeing. Father, I don't know what altar has tied down Jennifer's destiny. But right now, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. There's someone they call you Junior. Your name is Junior. I don't know. Junior. That's what they call you. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. They call you Junior. I want to pray for you. Please make sure you don't tell lies. If you are not Junior, sit back quietly so that we don't waste time. Junior. There's someone, the power of God is coming on you. You work in UBA. United Bank for Africa. There is trouble. I need to pray for you. UBA. You work in UBA. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names. I'm praying for that gentleman. You are a male. In the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy that is about to lead to your losing your job. Because you came here this night. What God says to one, he says to all. In the name of Jesus. Anything that wants you to live what God gave you. Whether it's a job, whether it's a position, I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Junior. Why am I saying ladies? You are called Junior? Okay, Jennifer. Junior. Father, my friend, God is going to use you mightily, this man. Eh? I don't know you. But you need, you need God to train you and build you. But there is a mighty man of God that is coming out of you. I'm praying that the grace of God will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Junior, I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm seeing one of you is like a spirit. And I'm seeing crying upon your mother's coffin. That something happened and she just died. In the name that is above all names. I pray for you, Junior. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, every pit the devil is digging for your mother to enter and die because you have come here, they are exempted from death. They are exempted from death. I'm seeing someone you deal with metals. Metals. Is it construction or fabrication? You deal with metals. I'm seeing someone stand and all around him I'm seeing metals. I want to pray for you. For these ladies, have I prayed for them? Jennifer, please help them. Jennifer. There are two of you. I just saw light come on you. And the Lord is telling me that everything that represents reproach is living right now. 
in the name of Jesus. Believe what you are seeing, no, because what God is doing here, He's doing the same thing in your life now. He's doing the same thing in your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, um, the Lord is asking me to pray for someone who will be very fast about this. And I don't want you to be embarrassed. If you're not comfortable coming out, that's fine, don't come out. But you are trusting God for male children. This is your prayer. You have cried this thing and cried. God gave you female. Of, I don't know. But your prayer is for a male child. Ordinarily, I would not want to ask you to come out. But I'm hearing this in my spirit. God does these things as a witness. So that men will know that there is a God in heaven. You are trusting God for a male child. Not that there is anything wrong with gender, whatever. Number one, make sure you are married. Number two, You are trusting God. Please, if I call you, let's be able to distinguish who is, who is um, coming. If I prayed for you in Jesus' name, you are, you are blessed. We'll take testimony shortly. Please, quickly, quickly, if you are coming out, come. If it's a spouse, you can come together. A lady is going to start shouting and prophesying. By the Spirit. It is a grace that is coming upon her. And she's going to be used mightily by God for her family. Remember when the Spirit that was upon Moses rested upon 70 elders. Listen, let me tell you sincerely, my dear people, God answers prayers that you have come here openly. I pray for you. The women can place their hand on, on their stomach. The men, your chest, or just connect by faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. There's one of you, I'm seeing something tie you. That thing is about to leave you now. I'm seeing something like a snake tying you. Let it go now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, it must release you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, but the person the power of God is coming on is in the congregation. Every time you are pregnant, you see snakes, serpents, and when that happens, you must lose that pregnancy. God is ministering to that person now. Wherever you are, I stretch my hands. Whatever connects you to serpentine spirits that will not allow you rise in the name of Jesus, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. For those of you in front here, because you have come by the word of the Lord, and I'm praying for those in front, but it includes everyone. I see lots of people at the overflows. In the name of Jesus, according to the time of life, May the Lord give you the male children you desire. I don't know if you are going to believe this, but there's one of you standing in front here. The Lord is doing a divine surgery now. I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach, literally, as you are standing in front here. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, right now may the lord do that supernatural surgery that supernatural surgery the lord is asking me to pray for someone you just stand and you start misbehaving for a few minutes people have been suspecting that you have um, i don't know what the medical condition will be now but this is something like an early stage of madness you just misbehave, you become disoriented. A spirit comes on you and you want to remove your clothes. You are an adult, so I'm not talking of a small child. And I'm not talking of maybe someone autistic. If there's such a person as that, please come out. I want to pray for you so that God will deliver you now. For those of you who are in front here in the name of Jesus, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 
Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. I'm hearing the name Christopher. 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 Shali Sali Kabaruska Brendigidia. Sir, where are you coming from? East. Oh, yeah. I want to pray for you. Thanks. Don't feel bad, eh? But I need to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And I'm wondering what is somebody who is alive doing inside a coffin? You see, let me tell you. We are intelligent people. Though. When we deal with demonic people, we are not stupid people. There is a place for principles and intelligence. But if you walk with God and God opens your eyes to the realm of the spirit, that's when you will know that evil is real. Christopher. I'm looking, don't be embarrassed. If God calls you here, it's because he, he's bringing you liberty. That you are looking at a man standing, but in the spirit, you are seeing somebody inside a coffin. What is he doing there? One day, an ordinary bike will just hit you, and you just fall down, and that will be the end of it. No. Anything that is plotting death for you, hear me. In the name of Jesus, like Haman, whoever digs a pit, may they fall into it. I say it again whoever digs a pit in the name of Jesus they fall into it Christopher in the name of Jesus I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead one of you will start shaking now very strong under the anointing not just falling shaking I don't know why but this is what I saw in my vision shaking like somebody's vibrating under the power of God and it's an impartation that is happening to you it's not deliverance it's an impartation by the spirit I stretch my hands now over Christopher particularly this man that I prophesy to you are receiving the spirit of wisdom there is a Christopher that is receiving the spirit of wisdom extraordinary results will happen by the wisdom of God in your life sir by the power of the prophetic I bring you out of every coven every grave in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus 